Meet Rocky. He's the boss, Lone Elk Park's bull bison. I'm not sure if visitors would think being this up close and personal is lucky or scary or both. For us, it wasn't luck. This was a meeting that was arranged after a more routine visit a week before. During regular park hours when you go to the visitor center, it's very likely you will see an elk or two or three. They wander through the areas where you're allowed to get out of your car and even hike. But the bison, that's a different story. Their very large area is fenced in. And when you go in, they wander freely, you do not. In the bison area, you're not allowed to get out of your car. You have to stay in it. Just like Yellowstone, the bison in here are not tame. They are wild animals and they act exactly like a wild animal would when they're protecting their territory. They have gone after people before. So this is sort of typical. You're here, you're looking, you're hoping to see some bison. Nothing yet, but you gotta keep your eyes open. Sometimes they're up in the woods somewhere away from the road, but this time we got a good look from the top of the ridge. You imagine the picture of the Great Plains and thousands and thousands of, of buffalo in a herd. I don't think of them as a woodland animal, but are they, do they do well here? They have to have supplemental feed. We have to give them extra food because no, this is not their natural habitat. The plains and the prairies are their natural habitat. Extra food? Turns out that's how the day starts around here. So when we heard about the morning feedings, we decided well, that's something we just have to see. It's just a little bit after six o'clock in the morning. We were met by park supervisor, Pat Curry. Uh, but yeah, just follow along and, and the animals will do their thing. It was already getting light when they started making the rounds with buckets of feed, some for the bison, and at this stop, the elk who clearly know the drill. Feed them grain every morning to su supplement their forage. And uh, it also lets us get eyes on them every morning to make sure they're healthy and sound and yeah, every morning we do do a count of our animals to make sure everybody's where they're supposed to be, you know. I had no idea there were so many elk in Lone Elk Park, but now we're gonna find the bison. That should be interesting. You can't make them do anything they don't want to do. You have to convince them it's their ideal. Uh, Rocky, yeah, he's uh, he's about nine years old. He's been our herd bull for a good seven, eight years, and he's probably right about 1,900 pounds, maybe 2,000 for what we do here at Lone Oak. He has an excellent temperament, you know what I mean? He's relatively calm. There have been more aggressive bulls that didn't fit in and the Parks Department does control the herd, limiting its size and its genetic diversity. It doesn't seem all that risky to be this close, or more typically, this far, which is why the warnings are repeated over and over, and over and over, people will ignore them. Yeah, when you drive through, sometimes it seems like, well, both the elk, but also the bison, they're just sitting there. They seem kind of peaceful, but, they're not always peaceful. Not always. The bison can run 35 miles an hour. And so they can maneuver through the trees at a pretty good speed. They're a lot faster than a human could run. They're going to be able to outpace you. And the bison get territorial with their area. The elk, it's getting to be their mating season. Most of the time, they're pretty calm also. You'd never want to approach them because they can see that. But you've that seen people approach them. Actually. I have seen people approach them. How do I say this? People sometimes do dumb things with, with the elk here, don't they? Uh, yes. I want they, you to be diplomatic here, but yes. I'm not being diplomatic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've seen people do some things that are not the best decisions. 
You never know what the animals are going to do. You never know what to expect from the animals. And they keep it interesting and they keep it fun and keep but it enjoyable. Lone Elk Park is a great, safe place to go, as long as you remember it's not a petting zoo and that the boss is way bigger and faster than you are. For Living St. Louis, I'm Jim Kircher.